Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday morning. It is early, and the uh, there's some clouds in the sky, and so I don't have sunbeams. Thought this would be the perfect time to come in and share my journal and also give you a peek at my quilt. So this is it. <clears throat> um, these are all fabrics I've had for years and years, and what you can't tell, or maybe you can if your quilter's out there, is that each one of these makes a diamond like this from the center and then out. So this would make a diamond and they all meet um, north, south, east, and west. So this is what it is, and I will be turning it in the back the back of this quilt is going to be this teacup fabric. Um, I don't think it's known as teacup fabric. It's it's pretty old. I mean, maybe it's been around 15 years, maybe 20 years. Um, it is gorgeous fabric with pink roses and china. Really, really pretty. And so that will be the back. When I get this back from the quilter, I will um, lay it on the floor and you will be able to see the whole entire thing. All right, well, I am in here with my packaging and scrap journal. And this is it. I'm not sure if this is the right ribbon. I think this is sorry silk, and I think I'll probably go with more of a brown. Um, this should be in my shop as we speak. So depending upon um, what you know, how I'm feeling, I mean, I like the gold, but I don't have a lot of gold. There's gold here. I don't know, maybe I'll keep the ribbon on. I'm not sure. It's got the beads. Typical beads on the outside. This was so fun to make. This was born from a Tim Holtz package. If you've not seen my um, previous videos on this, this was born from this piece here. Just simply folded over. Now, if I had my way, I would ask Mr. Holtz, to elongate this about two inches. That then would have been perfect. But I worked with what I had. I'm planning on doing another. And um, I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me get this out of here. It's just some tea. I'm planning on doing another and I want to alleviate any issues that I had with this one simply because I wanted to continue going and going and I couldn't because of the size. So um, the way I have this ribbon on, it is just tied on. I put it through the packaging right there. I uh, originally had wanted to put a paper doll on here. I did include the paper doll in this um, journal. She's somewhere in there. But you can see I ended up filling this and I just didn't have any, I have <laughs> no more place to go. I mean, it closes. It's fine. I wanted to keep going and I really had to try to edit myself. So let me show you what I did because this is up there in probably one of my top five journals of all time that I've ever created. This was so fun. And the fact that it was born out of packaging just makes it um, that much more fun for me. I included an envelope that I collaged on the front, which obviously wraps around the back. And then um, these two pieces here are from Mr. Holtz, as well as this clock um, hand. And then I created a pocket out of that, and I put two pieces of his ephemera in there. And I have a piece of um, fabric inside the window here from um, a piece of music fabric. That is where this is from here and on here. 
and then it is behind the the uh, cover it's on the cover as well but i also included a photo beautiful beautiful family i don't know if this is tim holtz or not but that fits in there and when you open this up These are Tim Holtz. This is Artie Mays, both of these pieces here, and then we've got collage work. And um, they just, I mean, they just fit there. So obviously that's where I put them. I used a piece of, a scrap piece of the fabric here with a bolt pin and some beads. There's a safety pin here with some lace. The lace wraps around and creates sort of a belly band. And then there's a tag here, a tag here. And then for some reason, I just, the color of this flower, also Tim Holtz, I loved with this. So I just put that in there. And um, whoever has this can just do with whatever they want to do with that. So it, this is the cover. So if you turn the page... On the inside front page here, I um, had this really, really pretty piece of um, cardstock, and it is attached. And on the inside of the cardstock, I simply have some um, coffee dyed, tea dyed papers. There is a lot of this collaging. I kind of, um, I kind of was inspired by Corey with this and so I pulled out a lot of my scraps that I had from creating this so you've got journal space here this just closes up like that in this little copper paper clip will keep this closed that's the purpose that this serves I'm trying to be careful of I don't want to catch that flower this also is a scrap of Tim Holtz fabric then there is a belly band on this side that has been layered with scraps. This is already Mays. There's a ticket. There's scraps on, uh, this is Tim Holtz's paper here. And then what this does, and I have to kind of play with these because I'm not, I did so many, I'm not remembering. More journal space right here on this little fold out. And it fits inside, that forms a pocket. And then you can journal here, and you can journal on the back of that as well. And that sweetness just goes right down inside of here. Sometimes when I do these, because I've got this corrugated, this stamp here, the way I cut it, there we go. That's easier. Here comes the sun, guys, so let me get through this. I don't want it to bother anybody. Let me see if I can... Possibly stand that up if that might work. I really wanted to get this on before I had sun issues. We've got more layering here, and I made a little fold out here that's um, great journal space. And then, of course, you've got your pages to journal on coffee, tea dyed paper. Here is a belly band. That's been layered, and the belly band has collage work on the front and then opens up for more space. I knew when I created this that you were not, I couldn't put a whole lot of pages in here I because it's just so full of cuteness, just cuteness. And on this page here, we have, you can journal on the back of this. This opens up like that, and this piece here comes out and opens up like that so that you can journal on this, and then just slips inside this pocket and goes right back in its cute, cute little spot. And on this page, we have, let's see, let's see how does this work? Okay, we have a journal spot here, and then we've got a pocket on the right side, as well as a pocket 
I think we do. We have a pocket on the left side. And then this is a pocket here with some more collage work. And then you've got journal space there. So you can see it's just so cute. More, more of that um, music paper here and then a um, some yarn there. This opens up so you've got more journal space. And on the other side, I included a um, another piece of Tim Holtz ephemera, another journal page. In here, there is more. You can see the collage work there. It creates a pocket. And then I created an envelope, and I left the envelope so that you could journal. If you wanted an actual envelope, you just would put a little glue there, fold that up, and you've got yourself an envelope. So that stays shut right in there like that. Turn this page. You have a little bit of ephemera there from Artie Mays. Pull this out and you have more um, layering and a beautiful patinaed piece of coffee tea dye paper. It's just so cute. More journal spots. And this is a what I had intended on doing was I wanted something like an a, uh, index card. And uh, so that you could open this up, you can journal on this. And then here I used a one of the Tim Holtz pins and then I attached a little mini tag and some beads to that. And then this is, I believe, a pocket. Yes, it is. You've got um, your layering there. And then you have, does this open up? Yes, it does. More journal spots. And then two little pieces of Artie Mays ephemera. And then some more um, layering there. That fits right in there like that. This is a piece from Corey. And I added, because I've been working on Medieval Mirage, I added a little Medieval Mirage tag in there more coffee dyed paper and then this is a collaged tag and it's held on with a um, copper paper clip and you can write on the front it's been sewn on the top and the bottom and then it's got the layering and there's stitching going down there and then this is another little piece of paper. Isn't this just so cute? It's just so cute. This is just something I created that's different from what I typically do. And so I think, yeah, we're going to be doing more of this. We've got a pocket here with more layering and um, paper for journaling on. And then we've got a little Artie Mays and a little um, Tim Holtz there. And if you'll notice, this is upside down and I did it on purpose. Why? I don't know. I just thought it was fun. This is not sealed. It stays under there with that paper clip. And then the paper clip itself. Look how cute this is. Okay. So the paper clip itself has this little band that slips off. It's got a um, mother of pearl button and this opens up. It's got a little layering right there where you can keep, you can put like a little um, note or you could write something that nobody would ever know that this opened up and was a little secret place. No one would, would know that that was there. So that keeps this on and this on. Just like that. That little band. Oh, I didn't get it on, but it keeps it on. I'll put that on later. Okay. Then we've got more paper. 
Here is the little paper doll. This is what I had intended on putting on the front, and I just, I couldn't because she was just getting too big, and so I thought, well, if you wanted to put it on the front, you could, or you could use it in this journal for something. And then I went ahead and I added um, some wooden beads and some little beads, and then I put some Tim Holtz, um, embossing glaze on this flower, two different colors, that on one side and this green on the other. And then on the back, we've got another Cory um, scrap collage here. I just thought it was perfect with this. And then I added a tag with um, some more of the Tim Holtz. Uh, fabric and this is the inside back you can add something to the inside back if you like you don't have to I um, left it because this was just getting to be so big that it was making me nervous and um, I just want to see if I let's just put this back together while we're sitting here but I hope you love this as much as I did it just took me quite a while to create because um, it has so much going on. And um, is that how I had this? No, I had this like this. Put this right back the way that it was. I'm pretty sure we were like this. Just like that. Nope. All right. Let's do it this because of the belly band I have to have the belly band lower than the paper clip you get the paper clip on there like that you can raise your belly band if you like so it's like that and then this slips right under there so it's just so cute and um, yeah, I had so much fun. I'm thinking, oh, and I forgot the very back. I was thinking that we should do one of these on camera. So there is the back. I inserted a piece of uh, Tim Holtz ephemera back there. You can see the gold on that harp. It's just so pretty. And then Artie Mays there and another piece of Tim Holtz. There's a pocket up here, and there is, I added a scrap of this, just not to go to waste, just another place where you can journal. And then the very back has um, a belly band with another photo inside, and there's a ticket. So just the cutest journal ever. Um, like I had said, for sure right up there in one of my top um, top five, without a doubt. Just so cute, so much fun to make. So um, I guess coming in the near future, we will do a scrappy journal together. But um, because I love to load them up, I think I'm gonna have to do it where it is um, a little bit bigger. I didn't get this tight. It will tighten up and it will close. So let's just get this right. And there we go. So guys, that's it. This is she and um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was so, so, so much fun for me. And I will catch you in the next video where we will cut this up and create something with it. So I will see you then. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, take care, guys. Bye.